Hello, Lily. Um, tell the people in Houston what the Think Tank is about. Anyone okay, who may be so, listening. Uh, right here, we have a little space. Uh, it's not active at the moment, but we're here from um, we're here from 12 till 6 every single day in Sakati Park, and we normally hold about three pretty lengthy, open slightly facilitated discussions about topical issues, concerns, ideas that are emerging from this extraordinary movement. Um, they usually run for about two hours each and they, the, the idea is to get as wide a set of participation as possible and I think you know normally we accomplish that and um, eventually we, we also have other, other things that we do as well. Um, we record all these conversations that we have and they're being archived and then eventually um, transcribed and made available as data to anyone who's interested in looking at what kind of conversations are happening in the movement and square. Um, we also have an online web forum which is mycga.net. Uh, you go to the group section of Think Tank, there's lots and lots of discussions happening there as well. We have a little tiny suggestion box which has just been packed away. Uh, people can just drop in ideas there. Uh, usually sort of they, they come in the form of solutions and they can be kind of witty but they're also being transcribed and archived. Um, and the idea is eventually, oh and the other thing that we're doing, so uh, you guys over in Occupy Houston can do this, is we want to set up big tanks in as many occupies and as many neighbourhoods and as many communities as possible for those people who can't actually come and be part of this occupation right here. So really, in the, the, our, our ultimate vision is to, is to have data, is to have uh, a, a place for exchanging, communicating ideas, but also analysing those ideas. And we're not necessarily looking at this, we're not trying to set up a list of demands or anything like that, but we do want to give a kind of sense of the contours of this movement, the contours being just the, the boundaries, the ideas that have been coming in and all been flowing out. And, um, you know, it's, it's been extraordinary place of debate. I have learned so much more yeah, from sitting yeah, the last two weeks in this thing tank than I had for four years in graduate education. And that is not the slightest bit of exaggeration. It's been, it's been humbling, it's been eye-opening, it's been just a very, very incredible exchange. Um, we're all intellectuals as far as I'm concerned, and this is a place where I feel like people can really express their, their, their own ideas and their voices in a way that really, you know, often they don't get the opportunity to do so. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Um, what's a, uh, I guess a couple examples of some of the topics. So the topics range, like, um, it, it, I think originally when we set up, we, had, we, we very much had policy in mind. Um, so they, were, they tend to be quite policy driven, so lots of stuff to do with education. You know, quite broadly speaking, people want us to talk about ed the education system in the US or uh, corporate personhood was, was one, tax reform. So the kinds of things that, that people, you know, the kinds of policy issues out there that this movement may or may not be affecting. Right. Probably is affecting. Um, but actually, as, as it's become more of a kind of space in the park where people, the people know and are familiar with, we actually start taking up a lot of issues to do with the movement itself. So over the weekend, we had a very extraordinary set of conversations about um, uh, well, actually, it was, it was mainly to do with the role of homeless people in being very strong contributors, facilitators, participants in the space, and just the question of whether or not they actually get marginalised within this space uh, or ostracised. So that was really interesting because we really got a chance to explore that, address that, and see them as basically our greatest hope of survival through the winter. If there's like any group of people in this world who know how to deal with uh, surviving the winter in New York City, it's the homeless. So, right. Uh, so that was a really interesting. It was generally a conversation about winterizing, and uh, that was that was really interesting. So I, I don't know quite how those are going to fit into this this issue of policy, but I think it's actually I've, I've come to believe it's very very important to um, to also address the experience of being in this movement uh, to give people a place to do that. And, and what you we tend to find in these discussions is that they they move to the bigger issues anyway. So this this particular conversation did end up talking about homelessness in general, but also things like non-violence, like issues that are critical to the to this movement and how it's spreading. It's really deep and interesting. I've uh, passed through several groups, starting in Houston and Memphis and being here. And all at the same time, there were the same issues pop up with the homeless population right. that this movement is integrating. We're trying to figure out a way to integrate into a existing community. Yeah in a way and I find that interesting that all this the discussions are kind of coming up all across the country 
just about at the same time. Just about at the same time. So I'll be, I, I look forward to seeing that discussion online. Yeah, well, I hope you will get it up as quick as possible. But, you know, I, I have to say, I think um, this gentleman who is currently very engrossed in discussion over there, he, he made the point that, like, if, if this is the 99%, then we are the homeless. And um, if there is one group of people who really <laughs> encapsulate, uh, like, the 99% then surely it's the homeless we shouldn't be asking what is their role in the movement we should be asking we should be making the ask, movement ask how can anyone in the United States of America ever be homeless you know and I just think it's like um, these, these are the kind of these are the kind of discussions we've had. cool 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 thank you Liz thank you